One piece of the puzzle. Police in Wales have confirmed that a burnt-out car they found belongs to missing Offaly woman Catherine Going. It was found near her home near the town of Mould. Catherine has not been seen since last Friday. Catherine Going's smiling face is plastered all over missing posters in North Wales. It's now one week since Catherine, who's originally from Kinnity in County Offaly, has been seen. Today her car was found burnt out in a wooded area two miles from her home. But just what happened to Catherine is still a mystery. The 37-year-old vet was seen leaving her workplace at around 7 o'clock last Friday. She was spotted on CCTV an hour later at an Asda store. It is important to remember this is not the only search or investigative line of inquiry we are currently following. Other specialist police search teams and crime scene investigators are searching and examining other locations across North Wales. A 46-year-old man is still being questioned on suspicion of Catherine's murder. Meanwhile, her family have joined in the search for the woman they describe as their shining light, desperately appealing for information and hoping that they'll see her smiling face again soon. Heartbroken, that's how the family of Diane Burrow described their pain today. The 29-year-old was murdered in her flat in Mount Rath, County Leash in April 2011. Jason Daly was found guilty of her murder after a four-day trial and sentenced to life behind bars. He strangled Diane with her own nightdress and stabbed her in the neck with the glass. He then tried to make her death look like a suicide. Today, Diane's brother spoke about his sister and mother of one. Justice has been served today for our sister Diane. However, no amount of time served will bring our sister back to us. The trial has been the final stage of a horrific process. And, our, and as our family, we need to move forward, honouring Diane's memories. Thank you. A free man for now. Sean Quinn Jr. was released from prison around midday today after serving three months behind bars for contempt of court. But his legal battles are far from over. He and his father, Sean Quinn Sr., will be back before the High Court in two weeks' time. The reason for the delay is to allow the duo's new legal team more time to prepare defence. N for newbies. Newly qualified drivers will soon be ditching their L plates for a new N on their cars. They'll be required to display the new novice plate for two years after they pass their test. Drivers who pass their test can look forward to ditching the L plates, but soon they'll be replacing them with N plates. Under new plans, newly qualified drivers will have to display the N for novice plate on their cars for two years after passing their test. They'll also be put off the road after six penalty points instead of the current 12. Eugene McEnany is an experienced driving instructor. He thinks the changes are a good idea. A lot of people after they pass their test have extra confidence and you need to know that you get practice and experience which you build up over, over the first period when you're driving. But not everyone agrees. I think they're ridiculous, even though I'll be passing my tests on Monday, hopefully, um, that the end plates sh shouldn't be put onto the cars. We should be allowed to go out on the road and be treated as a normal driver. The Department of Transport says it will publish the new legislation in the next few months, and with stats showing rookie drivers are twice as likely to be involved in accidents, it seems the end plates are a done deal. Corkonians will now be able to pass go, get out of jail free and dabble in the property market. That's because the second city has its very own monopoly board. From today, you'll be able to buy Cork Opera House, the city jail, along with other well-known Cork locations. Earlier this year, people were invited to vote online for their favourite landmarks to appear in the game. The makers say they've had requests from expats all over the world about the new game, which is expected to be a big seller this Christmas. Now let's take a look at some other headlines from here at home. Good news on the jobs front, discount retailer Deals is to open 10 more stores next year, creating 300 jobs. The company already has 20 stores here. It's investing almost 3 million euro in the expansion. The new stores will be open by the end of March. A grisly discovery, a human leg has been found on a Dublin beach. Gardaí were notified after the limb was discovered on Donnymount Strand at around 9 o'clock this morning. The Office of the State Pathologist has been notified. It's the second limb to be found on the beach in recent times. In February last year, an arm was discovered. It was later found to belong to a convicted rapist who had gone missing. 
and means testing child benefit payments is controversial, but a new poll shows most people support it. The Irish Times Ipsos MRBI poll found 71% in favour of means testing, but only 8% in favour of cutting the payment. Child benefit payments cost the state 2 billion euro a year.